time for the Weird and Wacky segment. Abominable Snowman. Oh, not an axe murderer. <laughs> One of the TAs turned out to be a bot. All right, Sunday, first Weird and Wacky article. 1,000 feral cats released into Chicago streets to tackle the rat explosion. My wife told me about this. And I was like, no, 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 that's not real. <laughs> like, no, there's no way that's real. And sure enough, I go look it up and now, no, no, it's real. That's what they did. And wow. You, you, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the children's nursery rhyme of the woman who ate the fly. Yeah. And then she ate a, a frog to catch the fly, I think. And yeah. then yeah. another, and then eventually it's a cat to catch yeah. the whatever. And then the yeah. dog to catch the cat. Yeah. And then perhaps she'll die. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, you know, yeah. like she keeps eating more and more animals to catch the previous thing that she swallowed. Yeah. I, I feel like this is going to cause other problems that, that are unbeknownst to them though. I will say part of the reason I take this article is because I have, I actually have a personal experience. So we lived in a rental property and we had uh, roof rats. They would get on the roof and they would get into the What attic. is a roof rat? It is called, they're called a roof rat. And they would get on the roof, they'd get into the attic. And then they, they, they became a pretty big problem and actually started like, started to get into the house. And so we went to the Humane Society and we got, we came home with not one, but two cats to sort of keep them out. And, and then we ended up just moving like, um, like almost two months. Like we're like, th this is crazy. We got to go. I, so I, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm befuddled here that you thought getting cats was the solution versus just packing your stuff and <laughs> fleeing. Well, there, there were other solutions that I won't talk about that we did try <laughs> along the way, but one of those solutions was cats. And, and then one of them turned out to actually be a pretty great cat. And actually they both turned out to be pretty great cats. Uh, so they, they were for a short while, they were attic cats. I take it. Well, no, no, they, they no, we didn't leave them in the attic. No, <laughs> no, no. all right. Roof kitty, rats and roof. attic cats. Go live in the attic. All right. We have roof rats and attic cats. <laughs> <laughs> now that sounds like a children's book right there. Roof, roof rats, rats and attic, and attic cats. cats. <laughs> I, th I think we should, we should get that URL as well as, as uh, write that book. Uh, and somebody who could maybe help us write that book, Bunny, the dog that can, in quotations, talk, starts asking existential questions. Yeah. Did you watch the video? I, I did not watch the video, but I read the art. I kind of felt like, is this just random pushing of buttons? I, 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 I'm i sure like it is, it? but it, but it's funny. So it's this little, it's this like sheepdog crossed with like a labradoodle or something like that. I forget. And and there's all of these like uh, push push buttons that say words on the floor in like a pattern and the dog will step on the buttons to make words. And I think the dog said, uh, dog, what dog is. So like, what is a dog? Right. Is the, and then the owner reaches down and presses the, you know, dog is friend, like, like pretending at least that they're communicating to one another. And I think they've got like a TikTok channel that with where this dog's super famous on that as well. And it was just, it was just funny. I just thought it was funny. So <laughs> I tagged it. So dog, I, what dog I, is, I don't know. It is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. And yeah. I don't think it is anything. Yeah. I don't say. think it is anything either. All right. So listen, last one that is something after a break in Milwaukee bakery gives away sugar cookies with the suspects picture on them. This is hilarious. And the photo is so good. Like these cookies, and kind like, of you, awesome. I love this. <laughs> you can see the person's face on the cookie. So they printed the picture, of course, on like edit what it's called, like editable, Ed editable paper. paper. Course, yeah. yeah. And then you can apply it to the cookie and they gave away 200 cookies. Apparently since that time, the person has been caught. The police have not mentioned or, whether or not this helped to lead to that capture. But nonetheless, like, like if I owned a bakery and I had a photo of somebody that broke in. Like, I think this is a great use of my time. I, th I really like this. This is great. So, I, I, I wonder if more bakeries should do like, um, you know, like missing people or, uh, wanted, uh, pictures <laughs> and, and just put them on cookies and give those away. It there is, you go. They like, like America's top most wanted America's most more, wanted cookies. more awareness because I, I, when's the last time, like a milk carton had a missing kids photo. I don't think they do that anymore. Yeah, right? I don't think they do that anymore either. I, yeah. And I think the most wanted is at the post office, but how often do you go to the post office? So like cookies, <laughs> people eat cookies. I want to say I went to the post office sometime within the last five years, but I don't, I don't remember when. So I mean, you know, I've got a post office box that I check, but I don't well, actually you go, go into, more I go that. there regularly, but I don't go into the main part where they would have those. I don't, 
even remember if they have those pictures anymore up I there. don't I I haven't seen them. Yeah. Hmm. 